Thanks, U.S. Mint. You just killed off a series for me. Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. And Winning Image Photography. So the U.S. Mint did kill a series for me. Why did they kill a series for me? Well, there's a few reasons. First off, the price increases, which was just insanely too high. Second of all, um, the way they released these medals this year. There was only one in 2020 they released due to COVID-19. I get that, but... I had already reached my free shipping for the year, so I was really looking forward to get these next three medals, you know, at free shipping since I had qualified. And now to be able to do this in the next calendar year, 2021, which is finally when a new one of these will come out. Maybe. Maybe. I'll have to redo all the shipping again and everything else. And it's just more money, more money, more money. And let's dive into a little bit first. I've got the seven that they have out currently. Of course, they've done these all in bronze, so everyone knows what the designs are going to look, look, look like. I'm not sure why I started chasing these. Maybe because the price at the time when I first started getting them was pretty reasonable. I was picking these up for 36 And the history. Yeah. I was picking these up for $36 a piece, you know, at the time. And then the sixth one, they had raised it by $10 because the price of metals were going up. And just and, a little bit. And we kind of debated about it then that... Yeah. And we thought, well, it's a series. We can do that. And then what happened? Well, they went from $46 to like $66, somewhere right around that territory. And that just, there's a line that I have as a collector that I call my price ceiling that just eventually it's too much for me just to collect it. I know I'm never going to get my money back out of these. So how far do I want to chase these? You know, and eventually they hit my ceiling. The stacker in me starts to have an argument with the collector in me going, hey, you're only getting one ounce of silver and you're paying 66 bucks for that one ounce of silver that, as we all know, with these kind of pieces from the mint, they don't resell very well in the secondary market. Also with this particular, I'm going to say metal because that's what they are. It's not even a coin. It's not even a metal or um, a round. It is a metal. So there's the Andrew J Jackson one. And of course, these flip this way, and they all have the same design on the back. Another thing on the reverse, another thing I really wish they would have done is had a different design on the reverse. Show something off about this president, where he's been, what he's done, some building that's named after him or something. But no, it's the same tire design in the reverse. So that was another turnoff for me on these coins, but the price increase is just too much. And going forward, I mean, there's a few things that's going to change for me since the mint, the, the the silver proof sets have gone up from $65 to $105 for a silver proof set. That's just a huge percentage of an increase. I think these actually had the most. And then the silver proof sets are next. Especially when you take into account this went up $10 for the last one last year. Mm -hmm. Now it's going up 20 more. It almost doubled in price in less than a year. So we can't justify spending that kind of money on these anymore. We're, we're going to officially be done with this series. I was really hoping to collect them all. Maybe if I can find them on the secondary market far cheaper than the U.S. Mint originally releases them for, then maybe I'll do that. But I'm not chasing these down. And as I was getting ready to say before, starting in 2021, I think Silver Heist one time answered a question on Silver Wolverine's channel about you know, what are you going to do about the U.S. Mint? And I think he said that he's going to get the 2021 proof set just to finish out the America the Beautiful Quarter Series. That's the same way, same pattern that we're going to do, or path we're going to do, I should say. We're going to go ahead and just get that 2021 proof set, one of my last buys from them, just to complete the set. Now, it's funny because October 12th, I had talked to my LCS guy and said, hey, I can buy these proof sets still from $65 from the U.S. Mint. Tomorrow, they literally go up to $105. Should I get a few of them? He's like, no. Gray book on those, $40. Bucks. You know, I'll, I'll have some later on in the year. So if I get the 2021 just because I want it early enough to complete the America the Beautiful series set, going forward 2022 on, I'm just going to wait and get those proof sets from a secondary market and pay way less money for them. I'm also probably going to get the new Proof Eagle, just to have yeah. one. 
And so as they say, the book ends, you got to have the book ends. Uh, we're actually passing. Today is October 13th, mm -hmm. the first day of their new pricing. It's after 12 o'clock. I have not ordered me a 2020 proof San Francisco American Silver Eagle because I thought they went too far up in price. And I'll get one off him down the road far cheaper. So if the mint's going to push me in that direction and they want to keep on I mean, I understand, don't get me wrong, I understand that prices rise, they rise in everything, but this last price increase is just too much over the top for me, and I refuse to pay those kind of prices. And the minute wrote back to you and said, well, we haven't had a price increase in four years, and I'm like, well, technically not true. This went up last year. Mm -hmm. Maybe some of your other products haven't gone up, but I don't see... I think you're going to make less money. I think you really are going to make less money, U.S. Mint, because why would anybody do it? You know, it's sad because I was really wanting to chase this whole series down. It would have taken a long time at four per year to get all the presents because we were only on number seven. So I guess that's the other good thing about it. Before too much damage is done, we're done with this series. And we haven't paid a lot for it. So we're not going to. I'm going to stop on this series, and maybe I'll catch them on the secondary market. Maybe not. But if not, thanks, U.S. Mint. You definitely brought this one to a close. Remember to like, subscribe. And all those other good things. We'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.